Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to my top five horror recommendations for the month of June. Now, June was a little, a little bit of a down month, I guess, for me. I only hit 70 movies, but a lot of what I did was I was uh, over my daughter's house uh, watching my grand dogs, and several times, actually. I was able to watch, because we don't have Disney, um, she does, and I was able to watch Obi-Wan Kenobi, which I really enjoyed, and out of that 70, I watched one movie that I do not own, and that was The Forever Purge, which I really enjoyed, um, and I watched some other stuff too when I was over there, not really so much films, um, maybe some TV shows, junk like that. So, as I said, I didn't quite hit as many movies as I normally do. And this one's going to be a little odd because, well, I'll explain as I go along. Okay. My first honorable mention, this is, of course, where I pick five movies that were my favorite for the month. And there will be two honorable mentions. The first honorable mention is one I reviewed for Body Bags. And this is called Nizula the Rat Monster. Uh, I had an absolute blast with this movie. Um, yeah, it was just, uh, pretty freaking fantastic. Um, a guy in a rat suit, of course, these military guys were going into this warehouse where there was a rat that was, well, watch the review on Body Bags. It'll be up shortly. But it was a lot of fun, and, uh, I had a really good time with it. So that is my first honorable mention, Nizula the Rat Monster. This is also a Shriek Show. And, um, or Tokyo Shock, but it's a division of Shriek Show. Wasn't sure what I was in for with this one, but I really did enjoy it. Okay, this... Okay. My second honorable mention, and this is going to be very difficult because this could have hit my top five, and it almost did, um, is called 32 Malasana Street. This movie was very good. This is pretty much the uh, Spanish, I think it was Spanish, version of The Conjuring. And in some ways, I actually think it might have been a little better than The Conjuring. In some ways. Uh, very tough to distinguish between the two as far as which one I like more. But this movie impressed me big time. The only thing is, it has subtitles, so people who don't like to read subtitles, I do have a few subscribers, um, you may want to stay away from this one. But that is my second honorable mention. It actually deserves a spot in my top five. So, yeah. Coming in at number five, and this is going to be very difficult because I can't really number these because I like them almost the same. Number five is going to be Panic, which is actually called, let's not give the um, people what they want as far as Walmart and all them for banning it. That's why there's a slipcover. It's actually called Satanic Panic. I had an absolute blast with this movie. You have Jerry O'Connell, who has a kind of a minor role in it. It seems like he's a bit more of a major role, but that's because he's more of a major actor. And his wife, uh, Rebecca Remain, um, absolute, it's just, it's just a blast. I had a really good time with this movie. Um, I've heard some not so good things about it, and I'm not really sure why. It's, it's not to be taken seriously. The movie doesn't even seem like it takes itself that seriously, and I kind of like that about it. So yeah, uh, Satanic Panic at number five. Coming up at number four, a movie I've had for a while and finally decided to watch, and boy am I glad I did. It's called The Devil Lives Here. This movie absolutely blew me away. It says on the back, um, a Brazilian candy man. Yes, but it also has some evil dead in it. It has a bunch of different things. Everything but the kitchen sink is in this movie, and I freaking loved every minute of it. This movie is fantastic. Check this one out. 
I used to be on, I'm pretty sure it used to be on Tubi if I remember correctly. It may not be anymore, but check this one out. It's really good. But again, you have to read subtitles. All right. Coming up at number three is The Dead Hate the Living. Yes, I know I'm really, really late to the party on this one. And I don't know why, I mean, I bought this when Full Moon was having some kind of a sale. It was probably like a 4th of July sale, like two years ago, or a year ago, or whatever. But it's been sitting in my collection. I've been on a bit of a Full Moon kick since I got their um, streaming service and the Evil Bong set and all that. So I watched it, and I absolutely love this movie. I am not... As I've said before, the biggest zombie fan. Um, but if you can do something different with it, and this movie definitely does, I'm all in. This movie is fantastic. I'm kind of ashamed I waited so long to watch it. And that is The Dead Hate the Living. Now, I thought that there was a sequel called The Dead Want Women, but that is not a sequel. That is a far inferior film involving the dead not so much zombies but more black magic um it, it was still okay though but this movie was fantastic okay coming in at number two another art exploitation movie that i finally got around to watching and it's bloody knuckles now i have always liked idle hand um idle hands is a really good film especially since it has one of my dream women in it um and now I can't remember her name. She plays on general. Uh, Kelly Monaco. Yeah, that's her name. Has her in it. But um, it's just a really good, really funny film. This movie is almost the same thing, but it's better. And I do mean that in every way, shape, and form. Bloody Knuckles is a heck of a good time. And I definitely recommend it. And this came from Canada. So it is in English. Yeah, Bloody Knuckles, number two. Which leaves my number one, and truthfully, one through four could have all been number one in my opinion. This was a late watch in the month. Actually, it was the 29th. This movie just impressed the hell out of me. It's called Open 24 Hours. Now, I got this from the flea market that I normally go to. The guy opened up a store... Down the street from me, I've been kind of trying to stay away from there so I don't spend as much money. But I did go in there to show him a little bit of support and ended up coming home with this and a few other things. And uh, this movie blew me away. Absolutely blew me away. I love slasher movies. Those who know me know this. And this movie is a fantastic modern slasher. Um, check this one out. I haven't heard many people talk about it. And I'm actually quite surprised because... It's really good. It's a really good slasher movie. If you like slasher movies, check it out. And that is Open 24 Hours. Oh, so we have Open 24 Hours at number one. Bloody Knuckles at number two. The Dead Hate the Living at number three. The Devil Lives Here at number four. Fantastic movie. Definitely check it out. Satanic Panic at number five. And my two honorable mentions are 32 Malasana Street and Nazula the Rat Monster. Check these movies out. They were definitely my top five and probably, you could probably say they were top six. Because <laughs> this one should have been in my top five. But yeah, check these out. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.